Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads, and we have another update today. Uh, I apologize for not doing an update for last week, uh, my voice was still pretty bad from being sick, and there wasn't too much changed, but this one we actually have a, a new feature. We have hover mode, something that they've been asking for a while, and it's actually going to come in really handy for some of the, the future projects I have planned, and I've got some doozies planned, especially the helicarrier, that's going to be great. Um, I got a, we're actually at episode 96 right now, uh, I'm planning on doing a, a 100th episode sort of special, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on requests, and I actually had a request uh, from one of the viewers to fly Medusa, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to strap the cockpit in her, get her up and airborne, I might have to put a little bit of a beanie on top to help with the lift, uh, we'll see how the weight is, but that's actually something new with this update, is we now have block weights in the game. You can actually see that here. It's up the bottom. This one's 25, whereas the armory is actually 750, 10,000 on the beacon, and the blocks are 30. Now, from what I heard from someone before on the forum said apparently the block was 50 kilos, but now it's saying 30. But from what I've seen, like the, the, the different size, uh, different weights to what they've, I've seen before, it seems about right, yeah, so if this is 30, and that's 6,000, so that's 200 blocks, and that's what I was basing my whole thing off, so everything does work out, and that's going to come in handy. What would also come in handy is the ability, or them adding, uh, you know, it's uh, how much, for instance, it can carry, like how much weight can the air blade actually lift, how much weight can the hover pad support before it, it touches the ground, uh, wheel torque and stuff like that. Uh, another thing about the, part, uh, the update is batteries no longer need to be charged in creative. I'm actually going to take cover mode off there. Uh, you have to be flying to engage that. I figured that one out. Uh, a few other things they did. Uh, uh, auto saves are automatically, or have auto save written in them. But I'm going to go check see this thing because I got this thing on batteries right now. Uh, I do have a bit of a project I want to work, work on today, something I've been thinking about. And, uh, you know, the way my mind works is just, you know, I, I look at one thing and then I start seeing other visions, I'll call them, in my head. Uh, Medusa came from me just playing around with the snake. And then uh, Medusa and someone suggested to turn her into a helicopter brought up a whole world of things. So we're at 0% right now. Let's see if we can actually lift this up. Yeah, we cannot. So I guess you have to be close to a char an area and it automatically charges. So it's possible to have like a power grid going around. It's actually something to test. Uh, give me a second here. I'm going to run a power line out here. Okay, I just decided to throw a generator down here. I didn't want to really run all the way from there. Uh, not like I care about clutter in the lab. It's actually cleaner than the last one. But I think it's supposed to automatically connect. Not 100% sure. But it said they were supposed to automatically charge in creative. Uh, let's put another switchboard here. And we'll connect this to there. Now, so it said automatically charge when depleted. Maybe it needs new batteries. I have no idea. And the other thing was they fixed a the light sensor the thing with the generator. Electricity vision, I have no idea what they were talking about now. Maybe there were some lines that were missing. Uh, block deconstruction, so I'm thinking maybe the double deconstruction. I'm not too sure, but let's uh, try something crazy here. And this is, you know, a stepping stone to another future project that's, that's going to be on a bit of a grand scale. I don't know how well the game's going to handle it is going to be one of those types of builds, that's for sure. But this is, this is great. We've got hover mode, which is good because i got a lot of stuff to do underneath that helicarrier. Alright. So, let's, uh, how high do I want to make this? I'll go a little more. Alright, so I'm going to, I'm going to do the old montage bit here and I'll bring you back when we're ready for a flight.
All right. Uh, as you can see, I had a little bit of trouble when I started powering them up. For some reason, they started creating lift, and this whole thing started spinning around. I noticed another thing, too. Um, this might be fixed, or this might be intentional. Uh, if you touch something while you're in hover mode, you drop. Yeah, it disables it. And watch when I touch this. Oh, I didn't do that there. Yeah, when I came up to somewhere around here, it disabled hover mode on me when I was trying to stop the swing. But let's go ahead and drop this thing and see what happens. <laughs> Everything should be powered. Uh, I'm going to leave stabilization on and see what happens. That's cool. All right, let's get this. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, this hover mode definitely makes things easier, so much easier. And so now we just got to find the generator and turn that on. Oh, no, hang on. We'll get in there. It's a good thing we got hover mode. This ought to be fun. Let's get in the first, per third person here. It's a work of art. Mad art. Oh. Uh, of course. See, now hover mode disabled. So I actually forgot to switch everything over. So uh, give me a moment. All right. So I'm just hooking up the hover, hover pads now, or the air blades. I actually had to uh, unpower a whole bunch of them. And I was actually thinking about having switchboards, a secondary switchboard set up so I could shut them off without disabling the grid at the end. Basically, I had it hanging off the, the top 12 so I can go and adjust everything. And I tried to get it to sort of work in conjunction with each other. So uh, the ones opposite each other actually work with each other. Um, as far as the steering and directional goes, I might try changing everything around and just have it on the front 12 or whatever. So let's go in and see what happens. Let's see if I can zoom out here. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Yeah, so I think... There we go. I have some sort of movement. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Alright, so I think... Yeah, let me uh, get out here. Uh, gonna enable hover mode again. I'm going to basically just disable all the steering from everything else and see what happens. Okay, it's all done. I actually had to wait for the sun to come up. It is coming up, so I left the front 16 going. I'm going to try this, and then there's one other thing I'm going to try, which I probably should have done in the first place, and that's turn stabilization off. All right, so let's see what happens. See if we can get any sort of movement. I can't control it because I have no idea which direction is which on this. Let's see here. Okay, that's going to go that way. going to get some sort of movement. That's not what I was expecting. All right. Stabilization off. That's the only way to go now. And that gets really con difficult. You know, you go in there with hover mode on, you get out, you're staying on the air blades, hover mode's off, you go and jump off and you die. Simple. Uh, as far as uh, the power usage of the jetpack when in hover mode, I don't know if that's actually... A thing because I'm in. Oh no no no! Stabilization, please. All right, so I'm gonna switch all these off, and we'll see how it goes. At least it's just a one button thing. I love how it just twitches as you go down. Uh, when you were building it, you probably noticed that I did start freaking out at me like that. I'm gonna try to make sure to slow that, uh, just keep that going normal speed, so you can actually see what's going on. But I didn't realize what was going on at first, and then I realized that I had the air blade right on the hinge. And, uh, yeah, the game didn't like that. So that's what caused the problem. Alright, uh, we'll just 
can go right down to the bottom eight, I guess. Or, you know, I'll just take them all off. Uh, are they still... All right. It'd be nice if there was an indicator actually on the thing, like a little red dot or something in the center of that light so you can tell if the stabilization's on or off without actually doing it. Mind you, I could be using the, the terminal. Let me turn that back on. But, yeah, trying to configure something like that in that terminal wouldn't be the greatest unless I could, you know, do like an entire group at one shot. Then that might be a little handier. Yeah, let's actually take them all off. Because in that way they're going to always stay f facing forward. And it's going to drop soon. It's already dropping. Down she goes. Let's see if we can catch up with it. Still going with one air, one air blade holding it up. There we go. Drops like a rock. See here? See that? As soon as you touch the ground or your line, your feet touch something, it turns off. All right. So now, holy jeez, that's what I was looking for. Let's see if we can. Get a little bit of control with this. See if we can get it going up. Whoa. Holy jeez, this thing is fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it broke something. It's just a plant. Would it be easier to fly in this view? No, it's not. Maybe I don't need to use the hover mode because I'm start flying when I use the hover mode. <laughs> there we go. Too bad they, I'm flying all over the place here. Yeah, it sounds like I should have died a couple of times. Yeah, let's go crazy here. Yeah, I think I probably should have kept it fixed at the front end. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how fast I'm going here. I'm like all over the place. Well, that is very good to know. They're going way up. Well, I don't know what it was. But it worked, and if I drop like this, I should be able to take off like a rocket. Where's that beacon? Uh, where am I? Oh, wow, way over here. All right. So if I hit space, that's not that, not that fast, but still fun. Real challenge to fly, though. Because you have no orientation of which way you're steering or which way your directional is going. Because I'm just using WASD to fly this thing and the occasional space to to whip around. And I'm surprised I haven't broken it yet. But anyways, I'm going to have enough fun with that. Let's watch it drop to the ground. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Remember, if uh, if you have any suggestions for the 100th episode, uh, I can be anything with the old lab, uh, the old compound. I just have to redo the power for everything, or it can be a new project, or it could be just something totally out of the park. Uh, nothing too big, of course. I want to try to get a few projects in. And, yeah. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.